Welcome everybody to the last part of our wonderful whistle stop tour of Undercurrent, which is a sonic extension by Spectrasonics for Omnisphere. And you will need to download Omnisphere 2.8 to be able to use these sonic extensions, and it's a free update. And with a free update, you've got some new uh, arpeggiation patterns that you can play with that give it like a strumming effect. And um, yeah, it's free so worth downloading picking up even if you're not into the sonic extensions so what we've got left to look at under on undercurrents is the two bespoke extensions that we um get with the patch along with side of patches and that this is under echo and under fire so under echo is as they spectrosonics describe it as uh, an echo unit quite like this one as in you've never heard one quite like this and it's a uh, has quite a lot of color to the sound so what i'm going to do to give you the sort of full feel of it is do very little talking you'll be pleased to know and just play with the dials and let you make your own mind up all i will say is you can use each of these effects with your own sound as i'll demonstrate here is i've just mocked up a very quick sound using um so square bright basic 12 decibel low pass filter bit of cut off uh, drop the envelope key envelopes and made a bit more of a plucky sound and that's it and all i've done is going to add under echo and under fire in various quantities so without further ado i'm going to shut up and i'm just going to play with this That's what you can do with under echo um absolutely fantastic for sound designing and like i say you can use these in your own sound design you don't have to stick to samples from the undercurrent library uh so we'll just move on to under fire and under fire is great for sort of shaping your sound a bit more um adds a bit of distortion bit of grit bit of crunch to it so again without further ado I'm going to shut up and let you listen to what this does.
So that was me just putting the ARP on, uh, just to give it a bit more feel of what it can do. As you can tell, it can absolutely destroy a sound in two seconds flat, so we'll just turn that down. Uh, turn the mask down. Natural facts. Oops, don't want to save. Just remove that down one. As you can see, the order that you put under fire and under echo in does make a difference. And so you're getting the distortion and the crunch before it goes into an echo. So you can mix and match the way you want. So there we go. Just a quick whistle stop tour of the effects that come with undercurrent. And if you enjoyed this little demo, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ding that bell, and you'll be notified when the next one is up. So thank you for now.